Dielectrophoresis, abbreviated as DEP, is a phenomenon in which a force is exerted on a dielectric particle when it is subjected to a non-uniform electric field. This force does not require the particle to be charged. All particles exhibit dielectrophoretic activity in the presence of electric fields. However, the strength of the force depends strongly on the medium and particle's electrical properties, on the particle's shape and size, as well as on the frequency of the electric field. Consequently, fields of a particular frequency can manipulate particles with great selectivity. This has allowed, for example, the separation of cells or the orientation and manipulation of nanoparticles and nanowires. Furthermore, a study of the change in depth force as a function of frequency can allow the electrical properties of the particle to be elucidated, or electrophysiological properties in the case of cells. Although the phenomenon we now call dielectrophoresis was described in passing as far back as the early 20th century, it was only subject to serious study, named and first understood by Herbert Pohl in the 1950s. Recently, dielectrophoresis has been revived due to its potential in the manipulation of microparticles, nanoparticles and cells. Dielectrophoresis occurs when a polarizable particle is suspended in a non-uniform electric field. The electric field polarizes the particle, and the poles then experience a force along the field lines, which can be either attractive or repulsive according to the orientation on the dipole. Since the field is non-uniform, the pole experiencing the greatest electric field will dominate over the other, and the particle will move. The orientation of the dipole is dependent on the relative polarizability of the particle and medium, in accordance with maxwell wagner siller's polarization. Since the direction of the force is dependent on field gradient rather than field direction, DEP will occur in AC, alternate, as well as DC, direct, electric fields, polarization and the direction of the force will depend on the relative polarizabilities of particle and medium. If the particle moves in the direction of increasing electric field, the behavior is referred to as positive dielectrophoresis, if acting to move the particle away from high field regions, it is known as negative dielectrophoresis. Here, the force vectors acting on the polarized particle are shown as positive on the left, and negative on the right side. As the relative polarizabilities of the particle and medium are frequency dependent, varying the energizing signal and measuring the way in which the force changes can be used to determine the electrical properties of particles, this also allows the elimination of electrophoretic motion of particles due to inherent particle charge. Phenomena associated with dielectrophoresis are electrorotation and traveling wave dielectrophoresis. They are generated by a much more complex distribution of the electric field in space and time. These require complex signal generation equipment in order to create the required rotating or traveling electric fields, and as a result of this complexity have found less favor among researchers than conventional dielectrophoresis. In this example cancer cells are assembled by dielectrophoresis in a 3D microfluidic model, which comprises a specific microelectrodes design and fabrication, exploiting the non-uniform electric field to separate cells with different cell membrane electrical capacitance due to gene expression. From Wikipedia